Are you? Um, how are you keeping? Good to see you all. Um, so I'm going to read, I'm just going to wish, want to wish you all a very, very happy uh, St. Patrick's Day. First and foremost, I hope you're having a very sweet day. The weather here is probably, in Ireland, is probably the best that it's been all year between yesterday and today, which is super, super sweet. Um, so I hope that spring is approaching you and approaching you kindly. And that's something you can enjoy wherever you are in the world or if you are on the other hemisphere, um, that you still have good weather. And good to say hey, good to say hey. I'm gonna read you a few poems by a couple of Irish poets whose work I really, really love. Some poems that I have read before in lives on maybe another platform that I maybe have not read on this platform. Um, and yeah. To some Irish people, they would be quite familiar with some of these poems, potentially to the point of, uh, well, well, quite familiar. So, um, especially in this lockdown, and especially, um, yeah, there will be some well known, but for people outside of Ireland, uh, I hope you enjoy them. I think you will love them. They've brought a lot of joy to my life. How are you guys doing? How are you keeping? Um, feel free to ask me any questions as well too while, while we are here for the moment um, I will try if I pick up on any questions in the comments they're going very fast and there is a delay but I will do my best if I, if I see anything to, um, to answer any questions and say hey but I hope you are keeping well I hope you're keeping safe um, and keeping sweet and while we're at the kind of last leg, hopefully the last leg of this very, very difficult year. Yeah, difficult 12 months. Near, I suppose now at the kind of anniversary of, of, a, lot of a lot of the lockdown. Certainly if you're in Europe or, or in America. Um, and so yeah. How's life? Life is really, really good. Thank you. I cannot complain. Um, I'm having a, a very nice day. Very sweet day. The weather is encouraging. Um, there is joy to be found, <laughs> as always. Um, I'm feeling very good. Thank you so much. I am in Ireland. I'm at home. Um, yeah. New albums. Um, I am working on new music all the time. I'm working on new songs. I am excited about the work I'm... I am uh, tipping away at. I'm excited about the songs that are um, that are being made at the moment. It was, an, it was an interesting, challenging time to write music. I think a lot of musicians might agree. Um, in a lot of, very, a time very heavy with, with grief and, and heavy with restrictions and, and limitations. I was writing a lot of work before the lockdown. And then I think the world sort of changed, as it does very quickly these days. And sometimes some work can seem uh, uh, inadequate to address what might need to be addressed. Can I speak Irish? Um, so yeah, the album is on the way, and I'm really excited about it. I think, I think it'll be fun. But because I, I did a sort of an end of the world album already, I, c I couldn't... And then And then... This plague hits. It was like, I, um, it was it was it was it was a challenge. But I'm, I can't wait to show you. I can't wait to show you what I'm working on. I buzzed about it, and it's kind of thrilling. Um, what was that other question? I just missed it. Can I speak Irish? I have a few words of Irish. I have what we would call a cupola focal guelga. Um, so I would throw it into. A few sentences here and there, I can construct a few sentences. And something that I'm looking at at the moment is potentially bringing it in, in some way, into my own work, which I think would be, um, which would be, 
I suppose, fun and interesting in a conversational sense and in, in a colloquial sense as well, too, to bring in some form of colloquial language. Um, can you show us your plants? I won't today. I won't today, if that's okay. Uh, Elwood is good. He's hanging in there. He's a sweet, sweet dog. Hey. Um, the Second Coming by WB Yeats. I won't be reading The Second Coming by WB Yeats. But do, by all means, read it. Absolutely. Was, um, they say history doesn't repeat itself, but it rhymes. And I think his, 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 that poem in particular just comes back time and time again. Um, I've heard a theory, and I think Fintan O'Toole, an Irish Times journalist, wonderful journalist, might have written about this in the last year, that, that you can kind of judge the world's political climate by how many, how, how much, how often that poem is quoted. Uh, the Second Coming by WB8. Happy birthday. Thank you so, so much. Um, let's get started. Let's get started. Um, one of the ones, I've definitely read it to you, um, is a Brendan uh, Keneally poem. And... Or sorry, yeah, Brendan Kennedy poem called Begin. And I suppose here we are back again. St. Patrick's Day, sort of the anniversary of lockdown. And also a birthday for me. Uh, it seemed appropriate. And it's a stunning poem and it's evergreen um, in every sense of the word. So, Begin by Brendan Kennelly. Begin again to the summoning birds, to the sight of the light at the window. Begin to the roar of morning traffic all along Pembroke Road. Every beginning is a promise, born in light and dying in dark determination and exaltation of springtime, flowering the way to work. Begin to the pageant of queuing girls, the arrogant loneliness of swans in the canal, bridges linking the past and future, old friends passing, though with us still, begin to the loneliness that cannot end, since it is perhaps what makes us begin. Begin to wonder at unknown faces, at crying birds in the sudden rain, at branches stark in the willing sunlight, at seagulls foraging for bread, at couples sharing a sunny secret, alone together while making good. Though we live in a world that dreams of ending, that always seems about to give in, something that will not acknowledge conclusion, insists that we forever begin. So that is Begin by Brendan Kennelly. Um, it's a very, very encouraging poem. I am going to read you a poem by Derek Mahan, which is a much loved Irish poem. And it was certainly, um, I think I remember it being summoned up by our national broadcaster at the start of this crisis. Uh, and Again, here we are in springtime, and there's something encouraging about the, the kind of changing of the weather. This is Derek Mar Mahans. Everything is going to be all right. How should I not be glad to contemplate the clouds clearing beyond the dormer window and a high tide reflected on the ceiling? There will be dying. There will be dying, but there is no need to go into that. The lines flow from the hand unbidden and the hidden source is the watch the power scourt and there is some fur cullen fur cullen whiskey um, at a power scourt estate there's incredible uh, distillers working there um, real artists I haven't tried their full range they have a 10 year there which I believe if I'm not mistaken they use corn with which is which is unusual for an Irish whiskey, it's a stunner, it's absolutely beautiful, and yeah, 
a bit of trivia for you. I do love Middleton. Obviously, Middleton is is um, is considered the kind of Irish Porsche of of you know what I mean. It's like the it's a very top tier whiskey in Ireland, um, and it is beautiful. And Redbreast is actually I think it is it's is distilled in the Middleton um, in the Middleton distilleries, if I'm not mistaken. Um, a bit of trivia for you, all of you out there in the US or in the UK or wherever you are in Europe or further afield. I won't na- mention every country. Um, the difference between whiskey and whiskey. So there's whiskey with an E and there's just whiskey with a Y, H-I-S-K-Y. Usually comes from Scotland or does come from Scotland or is Scotch. And whiskey with an E, W-H-I-S-K-E-Y is whiskey from Ireland. Um, and they're very different, oftentimes very different characteristics as you get to know them. Um, Scotch might be a bit smokier, a bit um, kind of heavy and bold, peaty um, taste of, uh, associated with as kind of a sweeter taste, honey, apple, stuff like that. Um, maple, things like that. There's a lot of maple in things like Jameson. Um, well, you know, there's not actual. Okay. Uh, so yeah, for Colin, check it out. Uh, there's loads of whiskies I could mention. And beer wise. Gotta represent Wicklow Wolf. Wherever you are, if you see it in a store, Wicklow Wolf beer is what I will be sipping on this evening. And it's locally brewed. And they grow hops locally as well too, which is awesome. And uh, it's a wonderful business, wonderful team. And it's one of the most, is love. The sad, unrepeatable fact that the loves we shouldn't foster burrow faster and linger longer than sanctioned kinds can. Love that thrive on absence, on lack of return, or worse, on harm, our unkillable father. They do not die in us, and you know how we've tried. Loves nursed inexplicably through thoughts of sex, a return, a backwards glance to touched places, glance, a sigh. They come back like the ride. They are with us at the terminus when cancer catches us. They have never been away as our trespasses. Um, There's two poems I want to read you. Uh, and one one is a poem that this this I'm going to read you a poem by Padraig Huma Padraig Tuma I should say I'm not sure if he Padraig Tuma I don't know why I put the H in there excuse me so sorry Padraig but um, there is this stunning um, podcast called Poetry Unbound it is narrated and I believe curated by Padraig Otuma. And it has given me such... Uh, it's just stunningly curated. It is just stunningly discussed. The poems are are, are analysed and, and Padraig Otuma gives his, gives his reading of them, gives his uh, interpretation of them and, and shares something from himself each time. Um, I'm going to read you a poem called Prayer. Uh, which is by Fasal Mohuyuddin. And it's stunning. First of all, it's not by an Irish poet, but since it's St. Patrick's Day, what you have to understand about the early missionaries, the likes of St. Patrick or St. Kevin, they would have been very, very different, uh, Had very, very, would have engaged in worship of God in a very, very different way. Um, in their kind of hermitages. Um, if you've heard me read St. Kevin's, St. Kevin and the Black, Blackbird by James Heaney, there's something of that perfect emptiness, that perfect quietness um, in that poem, which I always thought was stunning. And that's something that uh, Fasil Mahuyadeen seems to, I don't know, evoke in... in in this. It's also just beautiful. And um, 
and Padre Gautuma. His work with Poetry Unbound led me to hear this poem, and I was in floods. And uh, I'm going to read you also a poem by Padre Gautuma, because he's a, a stunning poet. So, Prayer by Fasil Mohideen. You cleanse the uncovered regions of your body, then stand at the foot of prayer mats facing the Qibla. Unfasten your cluttered mind from the tangible hold of secular. Tr- Bow down before the cascading glow of God's mercy. Submit to a centripetal course towards the gates of a more perfect emptiness. Here now you can plunge into the most secluded chamber of the soul. Commune with your share of the universe's initial burst of light, eternal light housed within the lamp of mystery, waiting to be beheld five times a day. Um, so that is prayer by Fasil Mahuyadin. And I'm going to read you Uma, who... Um, who uh, introduced, well, through his, his work, I found that poem. He has a lot of rooks around me. People are talking about the crows. Tell me about it. Ho. Oh, um, I love them, really. My, my dark family that live outside. Um, so, yeah. Have you read The Displaced Children of Displaced Children? I have no clarity of that. But this is from The Displaced, so... The poem is from is from Fasil Mahuyadin's uh, work, The Displaced Children of Displaced Children. Um, I have not yet, but I will. Um, so, I'm sorry if you guys have been sending me questions. Um, it's moving by so fast. It's moving by so fast. Um, it's hard to kind of catch them. Catch this is How to Be Alone by Padraig Otuma. It's beautiful. Um, um, thanks for sticking sticking around. It, this is super, super fun and we haven't done this in a long time. How to be alone, Padraig Otuma. It all begins with knowing nothing lasts forever. So you might as well start packing now. In the meantime, practice being alive. There will be a party where you'll feel like nobody. You were onto something then. Sometimes harm knows its own healing. Comfort knows its own intelligence. Kindness too. It needs no reason. There is a you telling you another story of you. Listen to her. Where do you feel anxiety in your body? The chest? The fist? The dream before waking? The head that feels like it's at the top of the swing or the clutch of a gut like falling and falling and falling? It knows something. You're dying. Try to stay alive. For now, touch yourself. I'm serious. Touch yourself. Take your hand and place your hand someplace upon your body and listen to the community of madness that you are. You are such an interesting conversation. You belong here. So that is How to Be Alone by Padraig Otuma. Um, I'm not sure how this is printed in other spaces or in, in, on other mediums. Um, I have seen it printed the title as How to Belong uh, which is crossed out Belong is crossed out How to Be Alone is uh, is written after it beautiful poem Um, I think I really maybe only have time for one more Um. And it's a Polomian poem. Polomian. And uh, yeah, 
if you have any questions, send them my way. It's so nice to hear from you. And I thank you for all the sweet, sweet messages and all the hellos and all the happy birthdays. Yeah. That's my fave color. I don't really have one. I like blue. I like green. I like green at the moment. Um, yeah. It's going by too fast. <laughs> I wish I could... Uh, I wish I could I could pause these questions. I mean, I can. Guess what? I'm fucking new to TikTok. I haven't a clue what this platform is about. I, you know. Um but I can scroll through the comments. Look at that. Okay. Progress. Progress. Isn't that a sweet thing? Um can you post the titles of the poems you read today somewhere? Yeah, absolutely, that can be done. And I think they will be split up if I can save this. They will be split up and probably repost it again. That's why I'm worried that I mispronounce a line or misread these poems. Or just read them badly, which is more likely. So I do worry about that. Um, it's beautiful work and it should be represented as, as best, as beautifully as possible. Um, have I gotten the vaccine? I have not. Um... I have not, but time time enough for that, you know. Um, I do have antibodies, which is of some comfort for the moment, and I'm being as very careful. Um, are you dropping an album soon? Um, I will speak to you soon about that, or I'll speak to you as soon as possible about that, but I'm working on, on music, but it'll be a moment before you, you hear from me on it, but um, I'm super excited about it. Will, you, will I be watching The Falcon and The Winter Soldier? I don't I don't know. I enjoy elements of of. Uh, I don't know. I I I don't know. I don't watch a huge amount. I don't make a lot of time for watching TV, but I, I should. And when I do, it's like I'm kind of in the middle of a series at the moment. Anyway, do you love being a Pisces? I've known nothing else. Um. So it's like asking me, do I like being alive? That's that's essentially what you just asked me there, and, um. It really has its moments, you know. I <laughs> do. Uh, do I like so? Do I like being? Do I love being a Pisces? Um, yeah. You know what? I love having my birthday in March, and I love having. Um, I've locked out. My birthday's on Patrick's Day. I always had a day off in school. It's a national holiday here. All my mates are off work, you know, so I can say hi to them and and uh, and give them a call, and and so I'm super lucky. And everyone's. Not obviously in a lockdown, but well, what happened there? <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> oh my goodness! Okay, am I a Star Wars fan? Yeah, I mean, I grew up big time on, on the on the original three films. Um, big time, every toy you name it. Yeah. Uh, so of course, I have a lot of love for for that franchise. Um. Yeah. Uh, my stomach is rumbling. Wow, I hope you don't hear that. I'm a bit hungry. So the last poem I'm going to read you is Seed by Paula Meehan. Um, actually, you know what? I'm going to read you Stephen James Smith's poem because I love his work so much. I'm going to turn on the lights here because it's getting super dark. And if you're if you're hanging out and you're not in a hurry, I'll just, I, I'm going to read you two poems. Here we go. It's a bit brighter. <laughs> Um, yeah, it got dark there, didn't it? What's with this sunglass carry on? Like, I don't, did I do that? I feel like I'm 80 years old. Um, this is Dublin You Are by Stephen James Smith. Uh, obviously the streets are empty this St. Patrick's Day, but I associate St. Patrick's Day with with, yeah, television feeds from Dublin and, and people having a right royal, re-raw, August Rula Bula, um, which is, I'm just kidding, just a party. Uh, so Dublin You Are, with Stephen James Smith, he's just a, an amazing talent, a fantastic talent and an absolute gentleman. Uh, Dublin, you are grey brick upon brick, full of tarmac 
and hipster pricks. Just face it, all other places pale in comparison. You are more than some former Saxon garrison. Dublin, your warmth came too late for John Corrie. Dublin, are you even sorry? Dublin, you are divided by more than the Liffey. You said yes to equality. And it's about blooming time. Yet Dublin, you always proclaimed to cherish all. Dublin, your panties are on Capel Street, compromising any papal feats. Dublin, Jedward, awkward. Dublin, you are more than a settlement on the poddle. But Dublin, what's the crack with coddle? It's shite, why don't we just admit it? Dublin, you brought back Sam again, but Dublin, when did you go from the clash of the ash to exchanging gold for cash? Dublin, Difflin, Iblana, Bolya, Haclea, and a hundred and eighty other tongues your citizens are using to name you. So cade me a falcha to all. Dublin, where power is held by too few in the doll. Dublin, when will you revolt again? 1988 wasn't your true millennium, despite the 50 peas and milk bottles. Dublin, you're mine but I'm happy to share you. Dublin from RTE, TCD, UCD, U2, SIPTU, IFSC, the acrimonious Temple Bar STDs, ODs and OMGs, no longer the second city, yet you play second fiddle to Google and Guinness, to Facebook and unsociable twits. Dublin, look at yourself. Dublin, your tower blocks and tenements are an, are an excuse for an, are an excuse for a solution. Dublin, come here till I tell you. You can be more than rapid dirt birds and banjacks bowsies. A right story bud, and yeah, sure, it's all good. Jesus, that's scaldy. Why go baldy? I'm Exira and Delira. Dublin, I cry for you. Dublin, you're a tough bastard. Yet full of the softness of all the people on your streets. Margaret Dunn dancing on O'Connell Street. The dice man Tom McGinty miming on Grafton Street. Pat Inglesby with his poems on Westmoreland Street and your Molly's, Malone, Ivers and Bloom, the daily Sally Sandy mounts, from the Gospel of Kelly, Drew, McKenna and Sheehan, to Borstal boys like Brendan Behan, two gallants rejoicing, to Eveline, sorry, Evelyn looking out to sea, snow falling slowly on the dead in Glass Nevin, Glen and Marquita once strolling, to Christy Brown willfully controlling a foot, to paint pictures and poems, to your heroines, Brenda Fricker, the city's mother, Maureen O'Hara, an enchanting other. Dublin, you are boom and bust, running wild and swift. Dublin, can I trust you? Dublin, your true blue is Harry Clark's cobalt. Dublin, from a thin Lizzie, Dicey Riley, to a floozy in a jacuzzi, God fearing. Dublin, shooting down Veronica Gearan. Dublin, you are bang bang, forty coats, Zosimus, a blind street poet. Dublin, you are all of us, and all who are yet to come. So let's go to the grave diggers and have a pint. Dublin, remember Stardust and all your waltzing lovers. Dublin, Big Jim's arms are outstretched to a risen people. Yet are we under the thumb again? Dublin, your GPO columns are scarred from the crackle of gunshots. Dublin, your CCTV will never yield your essence like the shots of Arthur Field's man on, <coughs> of Arthur Field's man on bridge. You are the pool bag towers. You are the poor showers begging on Bachelor's Walk. Dublin, you're all talk, yet you have my attention. From Robbie Keane to Paul O'Meehan, Dublin's calling, ooh, ah, Paul McGrath, or some say up the ra, Dublin, bridging caps with Joyce and Beckett, and finally to Rosie Hackett. Dublin, Paddy Finnegan was forced to sell the big issue on your streets, while Daffodil Mulligan was played to bar on beats. Dublin, you say delish. Dublin, you are full of Polish and Brazilian speaking Portuguese. And now the Chinese have turned Parnell Street into Chinatown. Dublin, don't let them down. Dublin, don't forget no blacks, no dogs, no Irish. Dublin, perish the thought of you being racist. Dublin, Cúchulainn has fled the GPO and heading for Monto. Dublin, your bay embraces despite the Sellafield Sea. And your mountains frame all your natural beauty. Dublin, a wailing banshee stricken with TB. Dublin, you're a European. But could <clears throat> Dublin, you're European, but could be craggy island in disguise. Gabriel Conroy is heading west because of an epiphany. Just saying, Dublin, you only painted your post boxes green. Is the Abbey doing all you all you dreamed? 
Dublin, you are notorious for clampers, senators and seagulls, to Celtic tiger and septic tanks, to singing high kings and rampaging, rampaging Vikings. Dublin, come here. Take me for a teddies and a romantic stroll down the pier. Dublin, you are a dancing place, a sprawling space of villages and many faces on the edge of an island that's eroded by the Atlantic, battling with being romanticised. Dublin, are you dynamic, struggling with identity? It's worth reading. Uh, there's a huge amount of references within the words to, I suppose, cultural figures and historical figures. Also, folks, I'm not a fan of these, these sunglasses being thrown at me while I'm trying to read poems here. What's going on? What's happening? Um, is that you doing that? Is that me doing that? Again? What's going on? I feel like an 80-year-old. Um, I haven't a clue. Um, I've seen a, lot of, uh, seen a lot of references to the handsome Squidward filter. Um, it's actually the next album theme. So, uh, your hunger for it will be satiated, I promise you that. Um, so, finally, Seed by Paula Meehan, who was referenced in that previous poem. Um, I do thank you all. If I see any questions, I'll try to answer it. There is work on the way. Um, I can't wait to share it with you. Can't wait to play shows for you again, wherever in the world that may be. Um, it's a very strange, it's been a very strange year, strange 12 months, but um, we, we have everything to look forward to and all of our lives to celebrate and party and uh, get up to mischief, which we will. And I suppose this is an appropriate poem to end on. Uh, Seed by Paula Meehan. The first warm day of spring, and I step out into the garden from the gloom where hope had died, to tally the storm damage, to seek what may have survived, and finding some forgotten lupins I'd sown from seed last autumn, holding in their fingers a raindrop, each like a peace offering or a promise. I am suddenly grateful and would offer a prayer if I believed in God, but not believing, I bless the power of seed, its casual, useful persistence, and bless the power of sun, its conspiracy with the underground, and thank my stars the winter's ended. So that is Seed by Paul Um I want to say thank you very much for hanging in there with me a little bit longer than I had, had thought. Um, and I should have asked the permission, I have to say, of Paula Meehan, Stephen James Smith. I did not. Um, I feel like a cheeky git. I'm so sorry. Please check out their work. Um, please read their work. Please purchase their work if you can. Um, of everyone mentioned here, Padraig Otuma. Uh, I mentioned the Round podcast, which has it's been such a gift for me in, in the last little while. Um, there's so much more I would read. There's so many poets whose work really I would read here and represent if I had more time. Um, it is my birthday and I have to call some people and say hi to some folks. Uh, but thank you so much for joining me. It's a pleasure to say hi. It's a pleasure to hear from you. It's a joy to hear from you. And I hope you're keeping safe and you are being kind to yourselves and being kind to one another. We've all had a weird 12 months. Uh, any aspiring, any advice for aspiring Irish musicians or any musician for that matter? Um, my God, these shades. Um, any musicians for that matter? Uh like a lot of the lessons of, of, of writing music or yeah, it's, it's a never ending. It's, you're never going to get to a point where you arrive. You're always going to, um, doubt yourself. I would say, trust what it is that you love about music. Trust what it is that you bring to whatever field it is that you're doing. 
and be honest to that and represent that as best as you can. Put the, put the time in if you need to, put the work in if you need to. Um, and yeah, trust that you know what, 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 what you want and, and spend time with that and try to back yourself. I think there's cert- certain things in life, whether certain things in life are, are far too costly not to endeavor to chase after. He said with fucking shades on his face, digital, two-dimensional, uh, pixelated shades. But some things in life are too costly not to go for. And that could be, that could be, uh, that could be a life in the arts or a creative endeavor or a job opportunity or a romantic endeavor and it will just cost too much to live your whole life wondering uh, if you hadn't tried it, if you hadn't done it. That was always my biggest fear. Um, that is That was the unthinkable. I can, you can try and fail and be proud of that, you know. It's that Samuel Beckett fail better thing. Um, fail again, fail better. I think it's like fail no matter fail again, fail better, uh, ever tried, ever, ever failed, no matter, uh, just do it, and, uh, throw yourself at it, throw yourself at it with two feet, fuck me, this fucking stuff, um, I will speak to you soon, look after yourselves, take care, happy St. Patrick's Day, and thanks for saying hey, it's been a pleasure to, uh, just catch up, um, look after yourselves and as always thank you so much for your support for hanging out and for listening to the work if you're listening to it and um, I look forward to seeing you at a show soon all my love bye bye oh yeah first time on TikTok I don't know how to turn this off so enjoy enjoy this moment yeah there we go see you guys take care